You think I make the decisions? I may be a legionnaire, but I'm just a grunt compared to the powers that be in the capital. Not that it takes a synod mage to work it out. Skyrim's in the midst of strife, the Empire's still reeling from the war. It doesn't take a genius to realize the Empire wouldn't want any of that chaos spilling over into its heartland. Why?
That, I'm afraid, is private. Uh, you scoundrel! Here, take this and be gone. Bye. Was the end. Thank you, Traveler. Here, have some of the herbs I found before they assaulted me. Farewell.
Garcia's been filling your head full of goblin dung? Don't listen to him. We're the best and brightest out here. He's one of those people who thinks that because he's been doing it for the longest, he must be the best. He thinks he's the one, he and his guards, who protect Bruma the most vigorously from the gravest threats. But he couldn't be more wrong. Obviously. He may have been out here longer, but we're just better. See you around. I see by your walk, your demeanor. You're a sneak. Let's just hope you're not also a thief. What is it? If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. The Chapel of St. Martin does not violate the terms of the White Gold Concordant. There is no Talos worship going on here. It violates the spirit of the White Gold Concordant. I must urge you to cease and desist at once. Oh? What is the spirit of the White Damnable Gold Concordant? Damnable owner. The How spirit the of the White Gold Concordant is that men are not, Scandalous. and can never be, gods. Just as Tiber Septim is not a god, nor is Martin Septim. But what does the Concordant actually say? The Concordat forbids Talos worship. No mention of Martin Septim worship, though? I... No, there isn't. I must consult with my superiors. Perhaps we will have to petition for a slight amendment to some unfortunately specific wording within the Concordat. We will keep our eyes on your little cult, however. Hmm? Good afternoon. Looking for the news! Good afternoon. 
Sorry, but we're not looking for new members right now. The Dimity's branch is currently undergoing strict internal reforms. Check back soon, though. It's not something I can discuss with someone outside of the guild. Sorry, but we're- Check back soon, though. I'm afraid not. See you. Hello. invites you to his boutique of magical wonders. Don't delay, patronize today. Excuse me, sorry to bother. I don't suppose you've seen any priceless Sakaviri heirlooms gallivanting around Broom, have you? As I suspected, sorry to bother you, citizen. Just, uh, let me know if any do crop up, yeah? Thanks. A whole lot of uproar about nothing, that's what. The Count's been nagging my life and soul out about the damn things. You see, the Carvanes have a sort of family tradition. They've acquired a taste for Akaviri artifacts, constantly collecting more and more. Been going on for centuries now. Well, it turns out poor old Count Desilus... <coughs> Count Carvane? Isn't too happy that his collection's been stolen. I... Well, that's... Ah, oh, who am I kidding? Absolutely. This is driving me crazy. Just bring them back to me when you found them, and I'll be extremely appreciative. And I mean extremely appreciative. Seriously. I feel like offing myself right about now. My leg is Bye. Back. Am I becoming down with hell? Hello. I am Afana Adichie. I'm part of the Bruma Court. Rather high ranking in it, too. Anyway, is there anything you needed? I'm the Count's Tumud here in Pruma. If there is anything you need, I'll try my best to help you. Greetings. It's, uh complicated task. Let's put it that way. On the one hand, there are the Imperials. On the other, there are the Nords. And then, there are the other cultures to contend with as well. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that the Stormcloak Uprising in Skyrim has... complicated things, to a certain extent. But I'm proud to serve Bruma and her people. Well enough, I suppose. The Great War mostly spared Bruma. Thank the Divines for that. Most of Cyrodiil didn't have such good fortune. It didn't, mostly. And thank the Divines for that. Of course, there were Dominion Scouts roaming the Geralds on occasion, but that's to be expected. Minor skirmishes are not what people refer to when they speak of the horrors of the Great War, though. They mean the Battle of the Red Ring. They mean the sacking of Anvil. And these are evils that Bruma was spared. Her walls remain unharmed, and her buildings remain upright. That being said, Cyrodiil herself reels after the Great War, emotionally and psychologically. It took its toll on the whole province, and Bruma is no exception. Bruma may be spared the physical scars of the Great War, but the mental scars? They run just as deep here as they do anywhere. Not particularly, no. I certainly don't envy my friends across the border in Skyrim, though. These are truly dark times for the Empire. Let us hope that this storm blows over, 
as of all the rest. But something makes me think this one's different. I fear Tamriel will never be the same again. If it's work you seek, speak with my Viscount, Marcius Carveng. He's more likely to have work for you than I. He spends most of his time in the castle. Bye. Be careful if you head into the northern part of the county. That area is prone to avalanches. 